As you know, I don't do much by halves, so welcome to this week's episode, of which this is part one of my West Coast adventure. Diving, driving, sea creatures, step van, wild hot springs, and sea lions! Oh my gosh. Good morning everybody, it is super bright and early in the morning. I am on the road! I am half awake, I have a beverage, and we are heading northwest. Comment below if you can guess where we're heading right now! I'm so excited! Gas. The fuel is full. Our kilometer trip meter has been zeroed. The map is all set. I'm ready to go. <laughs> this is so exciting. I'm beginning the climb up over the mountain pass. There's me, a boat, and a sprinter behind and in front and behind me. I've done. 96 kilometers already and I'm another 120 something to go. <laughs> Am I crazy? Is this where we're taking her? Let's see where this road goes!
dead cat for the microphone. It was a toy. I really like to chew on it. some tea because driving is thirsty work <sighs> so glad to have made it Ooh, she needs a wash there's something mystical otherworldly magical about being up in the high forest close to the wild ocean and surrounded by a foggy mist that transports me in my imagination to a place where fairies live the sprites the imps and the Fae. I become one of them here, with the sound of the sea lions, the crashing waves, and the whisper of the trees, encouraging me to be wild and free. Yesterday we could see the ocean out there. Today it's almost midday and it's still super foggy. It's beautiful though. Like this big a clump, right? Hi, Tracker. This is where we came from. Tracker. This is the end of the road, and this is where we're going. You call this creepy? It's so amazing, I love it. Well, I mean, you could say it was creepy. It's like an enchanted forest. Green is black. There we go. I still can't really see anything with this thing, but okay. Wow. Yeah, it's the ocean just like it's sunny out there. Oh, if we went to the other beach, we would have been in the sun. <laughs> this is the longer walk, though, right? Maybe we just have to go to the It's clear right there. And then you see this big bank of fog. <laughs> time I've been here a lot of the time it's been like foggy coastline. Yeah, I, think you need to see the weather, I hope so. Yesterday was beautiful, the end of the week will be beautiful. Is a boat?
Now I'm yeah, not sure. Okay. Red dots moving. Oh, okay. This way? Nope. Left. That is a decent parking spot for night, but it's just it ends right there. Actually, a lot of these roads used to continue, but then they just started putting bushes, like piles of wood, in yeah. front of it to stop people from parking and stuff. Yes, but they do. Here we go. Finally, I'm so hungry. <laughs> I was getting angry. I was like, I need. You, I, I have so eat. much no cooking food, we can eat immediately. Right. Yeah. Okay, now where? I'll keep going to the right. Do this curve. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Yes, please. Oh, I have some more cardboard to burn that I really need to get rid of too. Yay. Oh, this is going to be great. Just two dirt bags in the forest. Or this is so cute. Look fireplace security board security board van i love that you have an armchair and a footstool i know we're being classy classy woodland creatures we are <laughs> all our crackers and berries we gotta go find some blackberries oh i found blueberries this morning oh heck yeah fires really nice being out away from civilization. Uh, Stephen and I were talking last night and we were talking about happiness and how there's a prescribed way, a subscribed trajectory for your life that is supposed to equal happiness and how the two of us see ourselves as taking the road less traveled. Uh, no white picket fence, no partner and 2.5 children, and the way we do our work, it's just, there's such an expectation to follow certain life trajectories, and when you choose 
something else. Actually, the conversation started with me being like, I don't want to be an adult. Like this idea of Peter Pan syndrome or Peter Panism. Syndrome's not the right word in my opinion. And Peter Panism being like, I never, I don't want to be a grow up, I want to be an eternal child. But the definition of child being childlike always having a sense of curiosity, always having a sense of wonder, always having a sense of playfulness, and always having a sense of open and openness to learning. And those things, I think, I see dimming, and in sense of imagination too, I see dimming in folks, and I hope that we can get back to some of those things where we just approach life with this wonder and curiosity and play and an adventure but an imagination it just i think would open us up to so many more possibilities so much more connection and so much more awareness of the sentience of life around us, the the magical parts of life, and I don't know, for me it feels like it keeps me young. It keeps me in a state of appreciation and joyfulness and happiness, and I hope to nurture that stuff in me, and if people think I look like an adult who's walked out of the Willy Wonka chocolate factory with my hair or my glasses and sometimes the way I dress I don't care I don't care I want to nurture forever that childlike sense of joy and wonder and appreciation and curiosity may I never lose that and may you find it too, or may you embrace that in yourself, if you see those things in yourself too. Good morning. Look, there's a Stephen in the wild making coffee. Coffee time. Oh, it smells really good. It's like chocolate. Nice. Oh, you can. Look at that. Look at that crema right on top. Mm. See the sunshine! <laughs> what a morning! Oh, look at a little bit of blue. Oh, this blue sky! Oh. The clouds have lifted up today. <laughs> that never really happens in the morning. Usually we gotta wait for hours. Yeah, the sun is <laughs> out! Yeah. I'm so happy! See these little triangles, diamonds on my van? Well, normally they would have something like this on it. See these little triangles, diamonds on my van? Well, normally they would have something like this on it. This is what I have to put in them. Cute. And they gorgeous. So colorful. Siren, the step fan. Damn. Ah. <laughs> Oxygen. <laughs> Where are these even from? Is this like recycled something? Oh, I'm clipped in there. That's adorable. Yeah, and then I have another one. Dang. If you follow me around, go the side. Wait, so who made these for you? My van life friend Shelby. She's oh. a Artiste. Oh yeah, apparently. To illustrate a children's book or something. Up here. Yeah, no Look at that sunshine. Yeah. Now that's distinguishable. Everyone will know you. 
but I don't put them on all the time because they might shake off. I mean, this one probably That's won't. a good license plate. <laughs> Cute. I see people driving with full-on wetsuits on their mirrors going on the highway. Like, they leave their towels, their wetsuits on their mirrors. I'm like, wow. Okay, did you forget? <sighs> oh, cheers. You got a better spot than me. Oh, nice. I love this mug. Oh yeah, it's a good one. My favorite octopus is on it. And it says stay wild. Yeah. It's beautiful. Where'd you find it? Is it a gift? Yes. Oh, I love the sun. It really helps. I love the mornings. Mornings are my favorite. I woke up this morning and I told YouTube about our conversation and last night about Peter Pan. Not curiosity and not taking the beaten path. I love that. People call Yuki Never Everland all the time <laughs> because, like, people just don't grow up here. It's like 50 year old surfers just like living their life and being children. I also think it's like childlikeness being looked at and then like criticizing how people describe childlikeness or child. Ch Depends on the situation, yeah. Sometimes they definitely have like a negative connotation to it, but it definitely shouldn't be. No, it I should mean, be wonder, always wonder. Yeah, critical of <sighs> show show your emotions. There's too many people that hide their emotions and let it build up. It's not passive. It shouldn't be passive aggression. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't shouldn't be active aggression either. It should just be expression. <laughs> yeah, you can express hurt. You can express disappointment. You can express expectation or desire. When you're but bottling all that it, and yeah. turning it into aggressive, either passive or active, if that's the child, like, that's like the un... Like, the, a brain that's not really working to process their emotions. They're like, aggression is so easy. Yeah. But also, children are quite able to express their emotions if they're taught... Totally. ...and mirrored how to. Totally. If they see adults not expressing themselves and bottling their emotions, of course, they're going to get this That's what they're going to do. They need to be taught properly. Bye! I love the sounds of my house a-jingling. The turtle shell I carry around with me wherever I go. It is my comforting sound of home, elevated by the adventure of the roads and the new places that I am exploring. It feels like meeting fish creatures and the beings of the underwater are like meeting kin. Creatures I respect and have some responsibility to care for and protect. This aquarium is very unique in its operation where all creatures only live a part of their lives here before being re-released. I'm pretty sure I've seen some of these perch. Okay. 
The water is constantly cycled directly from the ocean into these tanks to feed them and keep them in as close as possible to their natural environment. Before they return, having educated and hopefully drawn lots of earth beings closer to falling in love with the ocean just as much as I am. The reefs we have here are beautiful in their colour, so diverse in the micro-climates. The small creatures, funguses, sponges, algae, anemones, and small reef dwelling creatures creatures. It was amazing to see some of this close up. Some of this in detail with no murky water, no current or tide pushing me back and forth. And then see the names of them, get to know them, build relationships, have this indelibly imprinted on my brain. To see their eyes looking back at me through the glass, to be aware that they are aware of me and my presence, to see the tentacles of the starfish move, the mouth of the sea cucumber. The wolf eel as it moved in and out of its cave. I was just overwhelmed by awe and wonder and curiosity to learn and explore my beautiful ocean habitat, the backyard, the place where I feel like part of my soul belongs. glad that you're here. If you haven't already worked it out, I am in Euclid, which is northern British Columbia, Vancouver Island on the west coast. Now the west coast is known for its big swell wave and people who absolutely adore surfing. Um, this is my second time here. I love it. I came to visit a couple of friends <sighs> and we've had some glorious weather. A little bit of overcast but for October? Sunshine? What? It's just amazing. So it's, I have not been back into the ocean in my own wetsuit. I have borrowed wetsuits a couple of times, ones that zip up the front and you put on like a jacket. My wetsuit is, all, my wetsuit top piece is all one piece, the hood, and so you kind of have to put it on with your arms over your head. And my shoulder injury is slowly recovering. I really appreciate everybody's kind words, advice for healing, exercises and treatment. I have been doing a whole bunch of that, taking your advice. And somebody also mentioned that I should get back in the water to do some more swimming to uh, strengthen this shoulder again. So today I'm doing that and I'm excited to take you with you. W take you with me and show you some of the beautiful marine creatures that we have in our oceans. Hopefully we get to see a lot, hopefully the swell isn't too crazy, and I can dive a little bit. Fingers crossed I'm going to be going very gently, not pushing myself so that I take care of my body. <sighs> yeah, it feels the right moment to get back into the ocean and get back into my own wetsuit. Let's do this. <sighs> And on that note, I have to leave you on this cliffhanger. Next week, in part two, my dive, my learning about the sea creatures and the indigenous history on a boat ride to the hot springs, and my last lake swim in the buff. 
This was a physical and an emotional reset and a journey I'll never forget. I look forward to you joining me next week on part two. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it. I very much appreciate all your love, support, and thanks for coming along with me on this life adventure that just happens to be from my van. My love, Siren the Step Van. See you all next week. Thank you for watching. Bye.